What's it really like to live in Vancouver? Well, I've been living here for four out of five months, so I think I'm a pretty good guy. But I figured this is YouTube, this is the show, and you guys don't just want pretty good, you want the best. So I decided who out of all the people in the world knows what it's really like to live in Vancouver. And we brought Mr. Vancouver himself, Michael Downey. Hey, I've lived here for 34 years. <laughs> I know a thing or two about the city. So together we're gonna show you what it's truly like to live in Vancouver from the culture, the vibe, and everything in between. Hop in, we're let's, going. Let's go. So our first stop today is going to be hiking out in Squamish. We're gonna hike the Chief. One of the nice things about living in Van Vancouver is that we are so close to the ocean and the mountains like this. So this was about a 40 minute drive. You know, we're outside of the city, but in just 40 minutes, we are in the epic Cascade Mountain Range. So on a typical Vancouver day, I don't think I would tell you guys to come all the way to Squamish and hike up the Chief. But since Mike is, of course, king of Vancouver, this was the first place he suggested. Well, we've chosen to do it first thing in the morning, get the sweat out of the way, try and beat the crowds, and then we can enjoy this afternoon's activities. Ready to go? I'm ready. You sweat? <laughs> Let's go. So, more or less waiting to be walking on this hike and have someone recognize him, tell him they watch all his videos because I've never hung out with them and not heard someone say that. So this is my early prediction. It's gonna happen. Or maybe they'll recognize me and they won't recognize him. Then my life would be complete and this would be my last video. All good there? You gotta be close to the top, right? Right? Now, eight people just came down, told us we're nowhere near the top. This to me adds that extra element of fun to a hike. You know, if you fall and die, you hit me first, so you'll be okay. Thank you, Will. Just have your uh, editor help me out. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Just get this video off. This part here gets really narrow. It's really difficult to put your feet down. So the best way to get through this is just the classic climb up both sides. That is the classic. <laughs> oh. There's a wet spot there. Ladies and gentlemen. Be careful. Michael Downey. So there's peak one. Oh, wow. This isn't even the good view yet. Come on, Will. This Thanks. is where you add that really epic music. <laughs> Will we make it? Dun, 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 dun. All right, so it might be worth it to tell you guys why you should come and hike the Chief. It's difficult. The views are worth it, and you're near Squamish, which was one of my favorite small, charming cities near Vancouver. It's known as the adventure capital of Canada. So look at us here. I think this says enough. Uh, this is uh, just stop number one of a typical day in Vancouver. So I gotta show you more. All right, let's go. First time? First time. Right on. Yeah, so good. Be walking on this hike and have someone recognize him, tell him they watch all his videos. Can we officially confirm I was right? You can't go out with Downey Live without someone recognizing him. Say hi if you see me. Say hi if you see him. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it wouldn't be a true day in Vancouver if you didn't follow up your mountain hike with a nice little polar dip. So Mike has brought me out to Murrin Provincial Park. Unfortunately, the sun has kind of gone away. So uh, it's gonna be cold. And I will say this isn't maybe the most peaceful or the nicest lake we have in the area, but it's really accessible from the highway. So it's one of my favorites on a hot summer day. Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Oh, the hair flipping off. Is this a normal thing though? Like, are there a lot of lakes that you can just dip in around yeah. Vancouver? Yeah, no, it's not like known for its lakes. We're known for our coastline, our beaches along the ocean, but we have them. All right, so we just finished up with a cold dip. Now 
Obviously, most of this day hasn't been in Vancouver yet, so we're gonna head over to the big city and show you what else a typical day in Vancouver looks like. All right, so we're back in the city now, and our first stop is to go and have some food at a food truck. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that looks great. Yes. That's from Mike. Thank you very much. That's for Will. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Nice Have to meet you, Mohammed. Now, the one thing I really like about eating at food trucks is you go to the same spot every day, it's always a different food truck. So you have different variety to choose from. Then you have to sit outdoors somewhere. So we got, we got our spot. We got really lucky today. We just happened to come down and check out the food truck here. Happened to be a Lebanese truck. Will here is Lebanese. Just meant to be. As a Lebanese man, I approve. As a Canadian man, I approve. If you know anything about Vancouver, you know its alternate name is Raincouver. So on the days in the summer when we get a lot of sun, one of the things that locals love to do is flock to the terraces and there is no better terrace probably than Parallel 49. Nice, they've got lights up for nighttime. They've got all these trees kind of separating people. You're next to the silos, you've got a mural. I like it. Beautiful beer on a beautiful hot day with some great company. You tell me how you're really feeling. This beer hitting me right where it needs to. There's nothing more you can ask for. Hiking, swimming, Lebanese food. Does it get any better? Cheers to chasing your dreams. <laughs> it's a mindset. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's a mindset. If you want this experience, it's all mindset. <laughs> you can do it. If you can dream it, you can do it. All right, so that pretty much concludes part of the day with Mike. And if you're from Vancouver and you don't know who Mike is, then you're not really from Vancouver. He is just as genuine to spend time with as he is in all of his videos. So Mike, Thanks, buddy, you too. it's been an absolute pleasure. Have a fun day. Subscribe to his channel, 230,000 subscribers. 230,000 and 001 if you subscribe too. And for me, you know, if you, have, you watched this far and you haven't subscribed already, then. Subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later, but he's worth <laughs> it. See you next time. Yeah. Right on. All right, so even though Mike is gone and I miss him dearly, I'm gonna carry on with this day and I'm going to carry on with another special someone. I'm the replacement. <laughs> Don't forget that being in Vancouver is like being on the West Coast. Well, actually, it is exactly like being on the West Coast. So there is a very relaxed vibe in the city. Everybody is flocking to the beaches, especially on a gorgeous day like this. But we're still in the middle of the day. A lot of people are at work. So wait until I show you what it's really like at sunset. Like I said, if you really wanna know what it's like to live in Vancouver, being on the beach is an absolute must. But being at the beach right now for sunset is what truly makes living in Vancouver so damn special. Sharon and I went to go get some amazing tacos. We're sitting out on the rocks, ocean side, Got the view of the city, Stanley Park, and the sunset all in one. Enjoy. So this is something you pretty much have done hundreds of times, I guess. This eh? is legitimately pretty, no, I obviously don't do it every day, but this is a very typical weekend day for a lot of Vancouverites. And that is really what it is like to live in Vancouver. It's hiking, it's nature, it's beaches, it's an absolutely gorgeous place to live. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it and you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. I'm Will, channel is Sprout, and it's a mindset. See you next week.